Lawmakers are fighting to make college campuses safer. There is a push to enforce sexual assault laws in universities across the nation. WENY's Asia McKenzie spoke with local officials, and she's here with more. Good evening, Asia. Good evening, Dow and Ben. Colleges reported nearly 5,000 sex offenses in 2012, according to the U.S. Department of Education. In a letter, Senator Kirsten Gillibrand and nine other senators are calling for federal funding to investigate sexual assault laws on university grounds. Fighting for safety. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand is calling for funding to enforce sexual assault laws on college campuses. In a statement, she says the price of college should not include a one in five chance of being sexually assaulted. The policies that relate to these, uh, this kind of offenses uh, make students feel that they're in a safe, healthy um, environment that uh, does not condone uh, uh, sexual violence. Officials at Elmira College are hoping this extra funding will make the campus even safer. Under the Clery Act and Title IX, all colleges and universities must report all sexual violence. And all of the policies and procedures that we have uh, are aimed at uh, showing uh, no tolerance for uh, criminal or other bad behavior. Workers at the Sexual Assault Research Center also want to see funding approved to better protect students. I think that if colleges made more of an effort to advertise how you can get help if you experience something on college, on a college campus, I think that would make a huge difference. Each year, 10,000 complaints are reported against universities that violate the code, but there is no staff dedicated to exclusively handle Title IX offenses. I think that it's really, really important for these colleges to understand that this isn't something that they can just handle in-house. From 2000 to 2013, Clery Act enforcement employees were only able to investigate and find 21 colleges and universities. Live in the studio, Asia McKenzie, WENY News.